welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi my name is monica and thank you for clicking on this video and if you're a returning subscriber the ones that who are used to seeing me with no hairline my day ones thank you guys again <laughs> for tuning in on my youtube channel um guys today i filmed a chit chat get ready with me q a i posted a, a questions tag on instagram and facebook those of you who do not have me there on those platforms please you know what to do follow your girl um so i went ahead and answered them while i was doing this face and mind you, I haven't done makeup in months, man. In months! Guys, what do you mean? I'm so excited. Guys, yo! I can't believe it's good to be like below. And guess where I'm going? No way. <laughs> no way. Okay, without wasting any more of your time, let's get into the video. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. Let's get into the video. Um, I have the questions on my notebook. I wrote them down because I am using my phone to film. So the first question is how old are you so okay i'm seeing a lot of souls um my name is monica and i am 25 years of age i turned 25 in january this year so yeah okay stop it <laughs> um i turned 25 in january this year and I am from a small town called Musina in the Limpopo province, South Africa, yes. Um, the second question is, oh, I have a baby, by the way. <laughs> I have a baby. Her name is Victoria, so you're gonna be hearing a lot about her in this video. Um, if you see me looking down, I am looking at either the notebook or the mirror yeah um yeah i have a daughter named victoria and yeah um how do you feel knowing you are going to miss out on victoria's first words it's a it's a very hard decision right like having to leave my child and all it, it was very hard so knowing that I am going to miss out on a very not a very like on a lot of things right like her first steps. I heard that now she can stand and when I left she could barely like like she could sit but she couldn't like stand, you know? Which uh, which makes me so proud, like my baby is growing. And in the same breath, like it's very hard being away from her. Oh sorry. It's very hard like being away from her you understand but um i just have to embrace it like i took the decision to leave her while she was very young so why am i doing face before my am i going to do an eyeshadow i don't know so yeah i haven't done makeup in a long time <laughs> I haven't done like back home I didn't have time to like do my face because I was adjusting to being a new mom like have to prepare for work have to like get uh Victoria ready as well like it was a lot with me and anyone guys I was alone 
Okay, so sorry about that. I was rudely interrupted. You know, the government here lets you know whether there's gonna be wind, whether there's going to be hailstorm. Okay, yeah, at least they communicate unlike your boyfriends. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Um uh, another question, how was how was your first day at school? Man, like it was <laughs> first of all I was getting used to the weather here and tell me why I wore secret socks to school. Tell me why I wore secret socks to school. Like Yo, I played myself. I played myself. Like, and here you wear like indoor shoes and outdoor shoes. So, I'm playing my tip tip, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing my tip tip, and I had to like wear those. A secret socks, Virginia. Don't touch. <laughs> Yeah, the way that wrapped me, but my first day at school was hey, foundation. It was so nice. Like I have like uh, colleagues that are very welcoming. Like they try to assist, even though they can't speak English, but then they try to accommodate me, which I appreciate. And I teach at two schools. So both my schools, like my co-teachers are very nice including the principal and the vice principal they're very nice even my co-teachers yeah so my first day at school was very very nice any regrets having now moved to korea i don't regret moving to korea right i just i don't i regret leaving when my daughter is this young but like you can never be prepared for anything like in all honesty like no matter how much you try to convince yourself that you're prepared for something like you can never be prepared for anything in life so do i regret it no but my timing was wrong right yeah how did you come about wanting to live in sk okay this goes back to 2021. Um, I had, uh, we were the class of, I was the class of 2020, right? But due to COVID, I couldn't finish in 2020. We had to like move into the next year. And knowing me, I become bored very easily. And I feel, I tend to feel stagnant. So, yeah, we finished writing and we were, I was waiting for um, my bursary to call me so that I can come sign, uh, working in this, I can sign my contract and they were taking their precious time. So I started watching YouTube videos and I've been, coming across i was coming across a lot of um videos from aspects in china right so i was seeing a lot of those and i began to have interest in wanting to teach in china right and you know how china took time to um open the borders and everything so while i was waiting for that i did my tiffle certificate right i did my tiffle and it was taking time and i started with police clearance right while that was taking time i started to discover south korea right i started to discover south korea i can't remember whose channel i think it was by lisa jonas or something and I started doing research about South Korea. And I saw that if I waited for China, we could like never know when they were opening their borders. And 
I have people from Messina who are in China, so I was asking, like, when do you think they're gonna open and stuff like that? So they also didn't know. And yeah, I started looking into South Korea and I started making my own research and I took the decision that I am going to apply to come to South Korea. Yeah. And I felt pregnant. <laughs> okay. Did you have to prepare yourself, your daughter and your partner mentally before coming to South Korea? I prepared myself mentally because I had started I started this whole thing in 2021 so now it's 2023 so I prepared myself mentally and in all honesty when this whole thing started I told myself I'm gonna leave once I give birth <laughs> and I gave birth in July 2022 and the next intake was August 2022 so I was like no ways i'm not gonna leave my child when she's like a month old so no let me first sit down and take care of my child right right in terms of my partner i honestly did not <laughs> i did not prepare him mentally of which I feel bad, honestly. Yeah. I'm gonna cut it right there. Um, where do you stay in South Korea? Okay. I stay in Changnam province. And I in Changnam, I'm in... <coughs> Sochon. I hope I'm, <laughs> I'm pronouncing it right. I stay in Sachan in Cheongnam. Okay, how are you dealing with being away from Princess V? I try to video call her whenever I can. I wouldn't say it's enough, but it's helping in terms of my mental health. It's helping because I just find myself crying out of nowhere of which i believe it's quite normal for someone who left a very young child at home so yeah i video call her whenever i can and how do you feel leaving baby victoria behind <laughs> i feel bad guys i feel bad like Sometimes I beat myself up, like asking myself, like, did I make the right decision? Like, all sorts of things. But although she won't understand why now, like, she won't understand why I did, I made the decision that I made. But hopefully later on in life, she understands. Hopefully, she understands. Okay, how has moving to South Korea impacted your view on the world? Do you now see the world differently? Okay, I have always been the type of person who wasn't afraid of change to a certain extent, right? And I wanted to experience the world from a different perspective because my town is very small and sometimes a very small place can make you like you can be limited in terms of where you want to be in life like you will not see the world outside of that town do you get it so having to move I completely see the world in a different um, perspective although i don't even have a month being here like 
but the experience has been very very good like the convenience yo and not having to worry about day. <laughs> Not having to worry about load shedding and stuff he's like that so yeah i see while well, i do my eyes let me just contour it, like i see a world from a very different perspective now so i'm glad i made the decision i made and one thing I've realized, you're not a tree, guys. You can move. You are not a tree. No matter how much you're attached to something, you can move. And you can never know something un un unless you try it. Like, me coming to South Korea was me taking a leap of faith. Like, I didn't know what was waiting for me this side. I didn't know... The kind of people i was going to meet this side like oh my god stew ah! so i had to like take a leap of faith right and remember when i started this video i was like i hate being stagnant so i felt stagnant i felt stagnant Sorry. Okay, before my friend rudely interrupted us, I did my contour. So yeah, um, I see the world in a, from a different perspective now. Now that I've moved away from a small town. Okay, what do you love the most about your personality? <laughs> <laughs> like a clown worth it i'm a clown <laughs> i'm joking like i love that i can be attached to something but then i can still let it go with time <laughs> no i'm joking guys like why why can't you be serious okay i love that no but then what i'm saying it's true, like, I can love something and let it go. Love it from a distance. Yes. That's what I love about my personality. I'm a Caesar, me. I am a Caesar. <laughs> I'm joking. Way, because i yeah so um, how does it feel leaving your child behind like a lot of these questions are repetitive like more so when it comes to the question about my daughter as i said i feel bad and people can judge me saying I'm a bad mother. I don't care. Right? Right. <laughs> How long will you be abroad? Okay. In 2021. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I had planned to be abroad for a long time, right? The plan is to make money. Guys, let's not fool each other. When people come this side, their plan is to make money. Akiani, in the interviews, we fooled my Korean ever to, hey, I have the love for teaching. Hey, why didn't you do a teaching degree? <laughs> hey, I have what, what, what. Like, I know, like, you can change your mind about what you want to do myself included but we are here for money let's not forget that so before having a child i wanted to be here at this side for a while so 
right now i don't know let's just say after this year i'll see whether i still want to be abroad or not and i'll see how if i've reached my saving goal of which i doubt i will if i was in china i was going to do that <laughs> Wait. yeah but it also comes down to remembering why you're here like why you came here in the first place because i've realized that people come abroad for different reasons right and people are from different backgrounds like some people are supporting their families back home some people are here to just explore God's favorite children, if you ask me. Yeah. So, if you do not, if I don't forget why I came here, then I will not be abroad for a long time. But, if this is where God wants me to be, who am I to say no? But I don't want, in the same breath, I do not want my child growing up without without their mother present to get it. Like, I would regret missing out a lot um, of my child's life. Like, it's so hard growing up without having a mother. Like, my mom passed away, right? While I was young. So, imagine a Victoria going through that when a mom is alive and I also think about this a lot like if I hadn't left now when was I gonna leave either way I was gonna leave her because I also want to fulfill my dreams of working abroad to get me so when was it gonna be like Do you have a time frame for things or you just do it? So, yeah. You know, guys, I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie to you. Life is hard. Like, we pillow, chakalaka straight. If you ask me, pillow, chakalaka. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Second last question. Is this something you've always wanted? What made you go for this? Is this what you've always wanted? Hey, and I wanted a lot of things in life with it. You know how you are in high school? In high school, I'm in grade eight. You want to be something grade 10 you want to be something grade 11 you go to where gave me this career what 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 change so it, i wanted to be a lot of things i still don't know what i want to be <laughs> in all of my <laughs> but yeah i am singing coco melon To Korean children, huh? Yeah. So, um, I discovered who I wanted to do this in 2021. So, yeah. And guys, you know, in as much as we really do not want to talk about finances, especially black people, right? We all want financial freedom. Like, there is nothing as fulfilling as waking up and knowing that you do not owe anyone. We all want financial freedom. And let's not lie, guys. Like, we are grown up. So, I sat my ass down. I was like, oh, sorry for swearing. I sat my ass down. I sat down one day, right? I was like, Monica, you're earning a stipend. Earning a stipend. And 
you're gonna move but when are you gonna move from where you are right and supporting a family and you know there's something called black tax and that's something that you cannot run away from and if a person is not in that position they'll never understand what you mean and it's easy for them to judge you so i was like i have a degree i have a tiffle and i can save money to go abroad and go make money and come back or make money and support my family so when i made the decision it was solely to come abroad give my family a comfortable life while i get to live a comfortable life in where i wasn't in debt i wasn't indebted to someone so that's when i took the decision to move abroad right and i had a child i was like i don't want in as much as my um daughter's father is working i also want my daughter to get something from me to get it and there's everyday life like every day there's something's gonna come up for you to use money so i do not want to live from hand to mouth like salary to salary is painful like i wonder that last week yeah this week we make it 25 so bad i love my face page like in south korea right that week like you are really broke you are really broke guys and i felt it i used to feel it like magala mutwa se ja grumpy out of nowhere like you are grumpy and uh, that grumpiness is because you are broke you don't have money and i realized already no man I don't want to live this life. I don't want to live this life. I want a life where my daughter Liana have a trust fund baby. To get it, even if it takes me five years to accompl accomplish that, she's, she'll still be young. Put up a trust fund baby. Like, guys, you must have ambitions in life. You must be ambitious, even though your dreams scare you. Because yo, I remember the last week before i came here yo i was so scared i was so scared even my recruiter like i hadn't told my recruiter that i, I have a child so when my visa got denied <laughs> that's a story for another day when my visa got denied we had to go on a phone call where um he wanted us to come up with a plan of what are we going to do next right so that day i remember i was with my daughter at, at the doctor right so knowing victoria like <laughs> she wasn't quiet and he heard her so he asked Ori, like whose child is that i'm like my child he's like you have a child i'm like yeah he's like so you're leaving your child i'm like yeah i'm leaving her and he's like monica you're so brave you are so brave and right now ne, i can see it i am a brave woman i am a very courageous woman like i cannot i don't feel comfortable sharing why my personal reasons for coming here right it's just a pity that my child had to be caught up in it so even if it's for her own benefit so ish man kuningi man kuningi man this life ne why is someone when i'm sick why isn't my dad petrus mutsipe donald moza just turn into petrus man like i love my dad so much i love my dad like I love my dad, guys. And no, what are you doing? 
You see why you're talking and you're applying eyeliner? Bad, bad combination. So, yeah, that's it. Last question. Do you worry about Victoria's safety? No, I don't. Of course, your parents. Yes, I do, but I left her at home. Like, I left her at home. And my heart is at ease knowing that I left her with people that love her. Get it? You get me? Yes. I look crazy. So, yeah. I left at home. I'm not that worried. So, yeah. And I also pray for your safety. You no know, parents, you have to pray for your children's safety. Guys, you know, <laughs> and I just pinch myself. I'm like, I'm someone's mother. <laughs> as childish as I am, I am someone's mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sex is real, guys. <laughs> I'm someone's mother. Uma Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aritz, guys. Aritz. Yeah. Hey, <sighs> yeah. No. So, wait a minute. All right, okay. My questions are done, guys, and I don't have anything to say to you guys. I don't have anything. I don't. Personally, don't. Ah. I don't have anything to say to you. <laughs> yeah, guys, but nonetheless, being in South Korea has been nothing short of amazing. Like, I thank God every day, like, that. Thank you for trusting me with this opportunity. Like, thank you for granting me this opportunity to come here and work for myself for my child so that my child can be a trust fund baby guys do the right thing with it do the right thing like it's in as much as we can joke around and everything it's not nice growing up and having to look for funding and everything again children is was but then by the child our children i sorry by the time our children um grow up will ns first still have money eh? let's start there okay let me go fish my scissors so i went ahead and finished my face off camera and this is what this is my first time installing a weave. Ah! <laughs> mm. 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 Get into it. Get. <laughs> guys, my name should just be changed to Montesa, guys. Because what? <laughs> okay. Um, we have reached the end of our QA. I really enjoyed answering this and I tried my best to answer the questions truthfully and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share this video to your friends, to your families and <laughs> busk into the space. Do you like what you see? Subscribe. See you on my next one. Bye. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I